I'm on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. We're going to take a boat ride, go to the beach, eat some lobster, and have a lot of fun. So stay tuned. It's summertime. Long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, I lived on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I no longer live on Cape Cod, so it's a blessing to be able to come back here and to be here on the water, enjoying family, of which I still have living here. And, and that's what these are about. I want to share these with you guys. This is part of my soulscape. I feel at home here. I was raised here. And this is my, kind of my home. A uh, home I no longer live in. But this is Cape Cod Mass. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to be sharing a lot of Cape Cod with you. My favorite haunts, my favorite places, favorite beaches, restaurants. And uh, it's, it's just important to me. This is who I am. Uh, a big part of the way, the way of it. So, this is Cape Cod. I love my. Alright, so yeah, this is the boat. Basically, has three decks uh, front berth area, midship, there's a whole seating area where you can drive, and uh, I'll show that to you. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. He used to have a sailboat, but now this is a boat. boat. And there goes uh, Nathan and his cousin. And they are. I grew up in New England. Born in New Hampshire. Lived in Vermont, New Hampshire, upstate New York. Massachusetts, finally, for high school. On Cape Cod. So much of this place uh, helped form who I am. Uh, I love the music. The music program was stellar at my high school. I was in band, played saxophone, jazz band, marching band, concert band, every other band. I was in a drum corps and I played xylophone because uh, I played drums as well. But then I was in musicals, chorus, choir. I had uh, leads in our high school musicals as well. And the music is part of my DNA, a big part of who I am. This place helped foster that, that creativity. As you can tell from my hair, it is extremely windy today. But I wish you could hear it. And maybe if you listen closely, a gentle slap of the waves against the boat, the wind, the gulls, the seagulls flying around and doing their songs. It's, uh, beautiful. The friends I had. I was very depressed and angry when I was younger, but when I met Matt, one of, my, one of my two best friends in high school was Boyd and Matt. It was Matt that taught me to be funny, or at least to try, to find humor in almost anything, and to use that as a coping mechanism, a way to deal with pain whether it's emotional or physical or otherwise. It was Matt that did that, and I'm very thankful to Matt for that gift. My uncle's boat, this boat, is called Mahala, which I've been told is Hawaiian for uh, love you man, or something like that. That's exactly how we put it, love you man, or something like that. So yeah, we're underway, heading on out. We're gonna cruise around the Cape Cod waters for a little bit. Wind is crazy today, crazy, and the chop, the, the waves created by the wind, the chop is uh, making the boat rock, rock back and forth. It's uh, yeah, I love it. It's enjoyable and uh, enjoying every moment of this. And you will not believe the homes on the water, these Cape Cod waters.
the ocean, the call of the water, the serene blissfulness of creation in the ocean, and you're going to be seeing that in some of these videos. We visit at least three beaches. One of them is sunset. It was stunning. Sandy beaches, rocky beaches. And that, this is my soulscape. I live in a landlocked state now here in America where I don't have ocean. So it is the highest of blessings to be here in Cape Cod right now, to be here by the water, to be by the Atlantic Ocean, to have my uncle take me on this very moment on this boat, to enjoy the water in this capacity, sitting in a comfortable seat up here on the fly nest, the top of the boat. Yeah! I marvel at the majesty and the raw, awesome power of the ocean, of the sea. And so much fiction, non-fiction, real life, stories, tragedies, victories, war, and in peaceful times, all have happened on the seas. It has played a critical part in the history of mankind. But I digress. It's just great. And I love it. And I'm very blessed to be here right now. So I wanted to share that with you. Share a little bit about one of my original homes, a big one, Cape Cod, that helped inform and mold me and fashion me into who I am now. Watching my uh, my little nephews jump off the boat from way up high is pretty cool. <laughs> and I'll show you the footage. Anyway, yes, Cape Cod, this is Katuit Bay, up at the flybridge of his boat. And you can see that they're down there below. My family, my nephews, my uncle. Pretty epic day. It's really windy, really overcast, as you can see. But you know what? That stops the sun from baking us, and I'm cool with that. Of course, everything in life, right? changes us over time. We're molded by the events and the struggles, the victories, love, loss, pain. All of them mold and fashion us into who we are. And Lord willing, that turns out to be a good thing. We turn out to be good people. Or at least people who are trying our best to be good and decent members of this human race. Ridiculous, ridiculous homes down here. And uh, I'm thinking maybe by next year I'll be able to get one of them. So uh, I'm thinking like 13 bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, something along those lines. So I wanted to share this with you because it's important to me, but also sharing our experiences. And you know, think about the rise in wide unthinkable spread of phone technology cameras and social media people want to share their lives in everything including technology of course have downsides have ways in which they can be used for evil however so much good can be done oh we were in some really nice chop for a minute there it was really bumpy and I think he's, we're coming about. I think we're going the other way. I think we're going to head towards a bridge. There's a big, tall bridge that accommodates, you know, tall sailboats and boats. However, if we look out here, the ocean is really ripping right now. You look out there. Yeah, it's a good day. I'm also a, a TV and film guy. I used to cart around massive. VHS recording decks, edit one tape to another. My point is this, that technology has come so far that with a light click of my screen, I can record high definition 4K video and within seconds share it with you. It's stunning. It's stunning the program and it's marvelous that this small device can be the means through which 
we can share and hopefully encourage one another and to do a little bit of good for the world. Here at, this is West Bay, which is the, one of the water inlets uh, near Osterville. So yeah, we are actually near a lot of the beautiful homes in Osterville, Mass, and Cape Cod. I used to live in Osterville, and one of my friends from high school, Andy Hallett, if you guys ever watched Angel, the TV show, spin-off of Buffy, Andy was the green guy, Lauren. He was in my homeroom. Andy was in my homeroom of high school. I miss him. He was really nice. He went on to be an angel and star in that. And uh, I miss him, but yeah, we were both from Cape Cod, went to the same school, and um, it was awesome to see him be so successful. I miss him because he passed away several years ago. He had a heart condition. Something I can uh, sympathize with, given my recent heart surgery. So yeah, I miss you, Andy. He was a good guy. All right, check it out. We're going under a bridge. This bridge is actually can raise up to accommodate sailboats. So we've done that before. My uh, uncle had a sailboat before this called Slipperback. And one time we had to come under here, they had to raise the bridge for us. So that's pretty cool, right? This, this little uh, bridge somewhere in Osterville exists. But of course, we're on the waterway. We can see where we are. Around Cape Cod, this has actually uh, been here for, it's an institution, the Crosby Boatyard, okay, where they house, repair, and do everything boats, Crosby Boatyard. So we are actually passing through that now, kind of like a parking lot for boats. So yeah, that is where we are uh, here in Osterville, Mass. I would love to do a wide array of videos, more in this fashion. Um, outside of my studio, outside of the video game world. Because again, that's just a subset of who I am. We are so vastly complicated and there's so many layers and depths to each one of us. So sharing just one aspect is only sharing part of us. So it's a, it's a joy and a privilege to share another part, another layer, another aspect of, of myself. It's a really cool day. This is pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I can't, I have to say, I'm truly loving this. All right, I guess that's all for now. Another Cape Cod institution is the Wiano Yacht Club. And we're actually passing by that now. There's a golf course back there, right on the water. So yeah, the Wiano Yacht Club and, uh, Osterville Mast. So that's that's where we're passing by now. Seagull just landed in the water, getting some lunch, and he flew away. I tried. Our ride is coming. A launch. So it's called. It comes from the main dock over there. Let's pick up, pick us up. And I have a guest here. All right. Talk to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this, and thank you for watching, and if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button.